Hickok 45 here. Have you ever had to make the decision uh, on a pistol caliber carbine? Which one should you buy? Especially if you're forced into it. <laughs> We're gonna try to help you a little bit today with a couple and let's see if they shoot. The CZ Scorpion Evo 3. Let's fire a couple of rounds. And one for the gong. Boom! <laughs> well, that one seems to work. All right. Oh, and an AR. Nine millimeter. Well, let's try that one. See if it works. And one for the gong. <laughs> well, they both seem to shoot. And uh, they both have a history of shooting and of firing reliably. So uh, what we're going to do is just give you a little idea while we still have the Scorpion, uh, the CZ Scorpion, and you'll see a video, it's already posted probably, right? Uh, that we have done with it. And we've done a couple with this particular AR uh, nine millimeter. It's a G9 from Lone Wolf. So we're going to talk about the differences and similarities and I don't know if it'll be of any help to you or not. I don't know if we are of any help to you or not, but we're going to try to be. We're going to shoot federal ammo, just the same thing in both of them. 124 grain, just range ammo, American Eagle, full metal jacket. Okay. And this is the one that we did get from too deep. You know me, I'm pretty shallow anyway. Jack of all trades. But John and I have had a lot of experience, a lot of firearms, and we've shot these quite a bit. And thought, well, a lot of people, I would think, especially as popular as pistol caliber carbines have become and are becoming more and more, uh, they're just a lot of fun. You're gonna run into people who see no purpose for them, of course. If it's not a real rifle, why do you got a rifle? If you don't have a real rifle cartridge and that kind of thing. But, you know, that's a, those are people who have not fired these by and large uh, or a lever gun. You know, many of the most popular and fun to shoot lever guns, Balang 2, 1873, and the Marlin 94, a lot of those, uh, they were firing pistol caliber uh, cartridges, basically, you know? So uh, just a lot of fun and can be effective. So got the, the Scorpion still, as I said. So we've got a firearm that here that, uh, again, I'm not an expert on this, but this is a, a nine millimeter carbine that was designed to be a nine millimeter carbine. You know, basically, I guess, fully auto. You have the CZ Scorpion, right, originally. And this sort of grew out of that. But that's that's what you've got here. You've got a firearm. I don't think this one's available in any other uh, caliber. In, in fact, there's there's no rifle version of it. There's no 5.56 you know, uh, 308 version of, of the CZ Scorpion. It's just meant to be what it is. Uh, it's flexible in a lot of ways, and maybe in some ways it's not. And with the AR, you know what you've got? You've got an AR-15, by and large. This we're clear. Uh, the difference here, in, of course, if it's a nine millimeter, is you're gonna have either an insert for the magazine well, so it'll take a pistol magazine, like this one takes happens to take Glock magazines, so you don't have to ask that. <laughs> yep, it takes Glock magazines, this one does not. So it's, it's, it's based on, and that's one reason it it's, uh, seems to be so reliable. Well, it doesn't seem to be, it is. We have yet to have a malfunction with that, and I guess we've done, we've shot a fair amount and done two or three videos with it over the years. Uh, so uh, that's that's very pleasing to me to have any firearm that's that's reliable. Uh, so that one, yeah, is set up. It's milled out for just the Glock magazine. You see, so that doesn't look like an AR mag. Well, does it? Uh, well, it is an AR. It's a nine millimeter. And uh, many of you may have these yourself. You've got a standard uh, AR lower, and you do put in the insert or it's set up so it'll take a Glock mag or some other kind of magazine. But it, it you know looks more like the typical AR-15 Magwell. Uh, so, but so you would have a little less flexibility with that, right? So, uh, you know, in, in terms of, and we'll talk about some of the different limitations and and, uh, and positives and things. It, it really, bottom line for me, it's kind of a tough choice. I'll go ahead and tell you that because I I know from experience this one is really reliable. So an AR-15 or an AR you know nine millimeter can be very reliable this one proves it and you all probably have some that are equally reliable you might have that one 
Uh, so it can be extremely reliable, uh, particularly, I think, I mean, I mean, I'm biased a little bit here, of course. I think having uh, one that, that takes Glock mags helps. Uh, although we've had a couple of others around here. John had one. Uh, I forgot if it was something star, double star or something. And then we had a Colt. And they were, I don't remember a lot of malfunctions. I, I seem to think we might have had a little trouble, but maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I just tend to like these mags better, easier, I think, to load than like the Colt mags or the Uzi type, you know, magazines, thin gun type magazines. But uh, again, that's because I've got a, a bunch of them and, and a lot of you do too, probably, if you have any Glocks. So you might, and they, whatever you think about Glock, their magazines tend to be some of the most reliable on the planet. And they seem to, to help out a, a carbine that, that uses a Glock, anything that uses a Glock mag, usually tends to be reliable okay so that's that's kind of a, a cool part of that but um you know so they're both uh, really we've not had a malfunction with this one shot it quite a bit and it doesn't take glock mags it takes a kind of a proprietary magazine you know the scorpion magazine uh but it's reliable as well so if you told me to choose right now uh, I like this, this Scorpion. I know a lot of you will have those, either in the pistol version or the carbine version, and you probably like yours too. Uh, so I like them both, and I'd hate, I would hate to be pressed on, on which one. I, I tell you, I kind of lean towards the Scorpion. I just like the thing. But then again, you got the AR uh, configuration. And in terms of positives uh, on this one, that is one of the advantages. You, know, you get a magazine, Let's put that magazine back in there. Is that the same one? And you pop the magazine in and you've got that familiarity. It's AR-15, you know, or, you know, style. You know, you got your charging handle right here. I know <laughs> pretty well how to get a round in the chamber. My safety, you know, I mean, why? Wow, these things have been around so long. Many of us have had them for decades and decades. My dust cover, my mag release right there. And, you know, we just are familiar with the operation, the bolt stop you know, the, the stock and how it operates, even though there's a lot of different stocks. We, we're familiar with all those uh, the sights set up. You can put any kind of sight on them. And of course the rails and anything you want to hang on them out there. We're just really familiar with them generally, uh, if, we're, if we have ARs and, and uh, many of you, more so than me, are accustomed to hanging lots of stuff on them, right? Uh, so let's just take a couple more shots with this. Maybe it'll malfunction today for the first time, you know, because it's kind of cloudy today. And uh, that will usually bring on malfunctions, right? That was a joke, new people. <laughs> I'm terrible, aren't I? Yeehaw! Cowboy! <laughs> How about another two liter? Woo! How about a red plate on the right? Woo! How about the middle? Got him. How about the left? Got him. How about a piggy? Oh, a buffalo don't want to fly. How about a ram? Come on. There we go. Uh, easy to shoot and easy to shoot well. Uh, how about that turkey up there? Okay, I was holding a little bit low, uh, a little too low. How about the gong? And how about the target over here, the paper? Oh, you know what we've not done yet? Uh, it's really hard to get in the swing of things before you smoke some pot. <laughs> <laughs> Click. Now there might be one disadvantage of the, uh, of the AR. I think they are more likely not to lock back on the last round. Uh, let me know if, if that's wrong. If you have one that does, some probably do. Uh, this one doesn't, and I, I'm pretty sure a lot of them do not. Uh, not 100% sure on that. So, so that didn't malfunction, though. It was just empty. Okay. So, uh, so you got that. But anyway, you got the AR mal, the AR malfunction, the AR manual of arms, uh, where most of us are pretty familiar with. You know, we, we tend to like these firearms most of us that have fired them there's still some resistance there's still people think they're awful and they're useless and uh they're just uh, evil black rifles you know lots of reasons people might not might like not like one uh but all of mine have been very friendly they've never been evil and uh 
I've had them since 84, 83, 84, my first one. So, you know, it's just, just a nice rifle. And, uh, and again, it's still reliable. We're still waiting for the first malfunction. Maybe, uh, John, you can load up a dud round or something so we can have a malfunction in this gun eventually. It's boring. So, uh, and then, uh, the other advantages to that, I mean, there's lots of equipment available. The sights, you know, if I didn't say that, you know, how many different types of iron sights, and of course we could put the red dot on it, uh, you know, you change out the charging handle if you don't like it, the stock, and just everything. The grip, uh, it's just unlimited, right? We all know that. Uh, now, the, the Evo, by the same token, uh, this particular rifle, carbine, there are a lot of parts for that. I tell you what, I, uh, I saw somebody had replaced the grip on his, I think the mag release, the safety button, which desperately needs to be replaced. That is the dumbest thing I have ever seen on a rifle. And almost anybody who has handled one of these will attest to that. It's just in the way. It is in the way, even if you have small hands. It's not just me. You know, sometimes these things will bother, these ambi safeties will bother John or me and not other people because they have big old hands, but this gets everybody. Uh, uh, a little aside here, gun companies, whew, do us a favor, and when you're testing these things, get them in the hands of like four or five different shooters and let them go shoot 100 rounds or 500 rounds and then ask them some questions. Was there anything about the firearm that was annoying to you? Like, why would that not come up in testing? I just don't, it's, it's perplexing to me, okay? I don't mean to pick on CZ. They do a lot of, they make a lot of really fine firearms. But anyway, uh, maybe they are, it's in their attempt to support the aftermarket uh, industry, I guess, because there are, uh, there are uh, many replacements for those safeties. That's the good news. There's even a safety blank. If I were to buy one of these, I really might be tempted to, because I like it. Uh, I will order the same day one of the safety blanks. I'm not sure what they call it, but I saw one online somewhere. Just for 12 bucks or something. And you just put it in there and there's nothing there. Okay, or on the other side, if you're left or a righty, it's a problem, no matter whether you're right-handed or left-handed. Okay, it's a big old obnoxious knob on that thing. So there's several different options for that. Okay, back, back to the store here now. So again, you can replace the, I think the mag uh, release. You can replace the safety, thank heavens. And, uh, of course, the sights, you got your Picatinny rail up here. These sights came on it, uh, these metal sights, and they're fine. Uh, that's my red dot I put on. And uh, you can put different sights on it. I don't know that yet you can switch out the uh, uh, stock on, on the carbine. I know there's a lot of different, uh, you know, braces, let's call them, for the pistol version of this. There, there may be other uh, stocks for this. I don't know. This is a nice, solid stock. It extends and everything. Uh, what else? Uh, the grip, I think I said. A lot of people replace that. They don't like the angle of it, but it's replaceable. And uh, so in a way, it, it's not really limited. Uh, as, I, as we all know, the AR, you can replace everything, basically, that you want to. Well, on this thing, too, uh, there's a lot of things you can replace. Now, you do have the, the Scorpion magazines that you're... I don't think anybody makes any kind of kit where you could put Glock mags or anything else in it. But the good news is they work well, okay? So the good news on both of them is the magazines seem really reliable. Uh, we've not had any malfunctions with these. These are more difficult to load, uh, but we've got one of these Maglula loaders. Uh, I got one, I uh, ordered that in, it came in, and boy, it made it so much easier to load these than it did for the first video we did. We struggled to get all these mags loaded for the first video. But uh, that works well, so I have a, a kinder attitude towards these magazines now. So that works pretty well. Let's shoot a little bit more. So again, we've not had a malfunction yet with this one. So again, you never know. Today could be the day. Let's put a couple of these on the paper. Get that safety off and out of the way. Whoa, I got that stock stuck, <laughs> pushed in, didn't I? Okay. I don't guess I ever shot the paper with other. That's all right. <laughs> uh, let's go back over there and uh, hit a red plate on the right. Bing! In the middle. Uh, 
Got it on left. Boom. Felt like it was empty. Yep, it's empty. They're both blowback. You know, you got the blowback bolt. Uh, and uh, and so you have a, uh, it's not recoil, but you can really feel the bolt moving, you know, both of them. Now that's one one thing, uh, I'm getting a cart for the horse, I guess, but that's okay. I don't want to take all your evening here, but you know, if you have an AR-9 or an AR like this, uh, for me, the fact that I could, I could take an AR, uh, standard AR-15 and, and turn it into a nine, it's not as appealing to me personally. It might be to you. Uh, I would just soon have one like this that was made for the, say, the Glock magazine especially. And, uh, you know, because it's going to be a different bolt, a different barrel, uh, probably a different buffer. I'm not sure on the where you get this blowback. You're going to have a different buffer spring and stuff probably if you're shooting 5.56. Five, and con if you're converting back and forth between 5.56 five, and 9 millimeter, I know depending on budget, you might just need to do it that way. But it seems to me... Uh, I, I think I would just get a nine millimeter carbine, you know, if I bought this or whatever I did, and keep my AR set up for five, five, six. I don't know. That's just me, though. But uh, you can do that, you know. Some of you do that. So share your experience uh, in terms of what you're switching out and the reliability and what, what you're finding. There's several companies that make the conversion of the AR and, and kits and you know, nine millimeter versions of that and everything. So any experience you have you know share it because there are people you know looking at these and uh, trying to decide maybe okay uh, so anyway this one everything is uh, replaceable essentially that, that you might want to replace that you don't like the feel of it uh, that, that grip and uh, now the forearm and all that that's pretty much set but uh, it, it feels really good it just it just feels great uh, you'll see in our uh, initial video of this you know what you know how it does and everything we talk about more of that but uh, in terms of a comparison, I don't think the AR has anything over this in terms of really ergonomics. You know, particularly if you get a pistol grip that you like and all that and get rid of that obnoxious safety uh, button. Okay. Uh, there's just not a, it's not a big compromise of any kind that, that I have determined. I, I kind of like it. All right. So pretty cool. Let's shoot both of them one more time. And uh, what have I talked about? The magazines, again, reliable on the on the uh, Scorpion. It, fairly inexpensive, right around 20 bucks or less, and they work. Okay, they're available. You don't have to scrounge the world for them. Same for Glock magazines on the other one, of course. Uh, so you know, you, either one is not a bad choice. Let's shoot each one just a little bit more, and then let you go home. How's that? <laughs> I need an excuse to fire some more. All right. CZ, Evo Scorpion. Oh, look at that Kentucky two liter just sitting there. All right. Pistol caliber. <laughs> Gong time. Oh, uh, yeah, that was nice. We'll shoot the other one again. Can't resist. Oh, I've got a couple of short mags. I've got the 33 rounders, but of course it takes the short mags as well. As long as it's a Glock magazine. And I think we determined, I don't remember for sure. I, in the, uh, in, I think it'll even take a Glock 26 magazine. All right. <laughs> oh, that wasn't enough shooting. I have another mag, though. So I'm going to take a couple more shots. Oh, let's go over there. Hit that buffalo. They took him down, finally. <laughs> Cowboy. Yeah, they're both great fun, and again, both of them have been utterly reliable at this point. So, uh, if that's a decision you're trying to make, that was probably of no help to you. Uh, hopefully a little help, all right? Uh, trying to think of anything that uh, I was going to say that was incredibly important, but I forgot to. 
they're actually both now they both run i think i forget uh, eight or nine hundred bucks on this and that's going to run in the ballpark probably by the time you get it built uh, so there's not a big difference on cost on these two and again they both have reliable magazines widely available and uh, they're both uh, adaptable i guess you'd say uh, to, to the individual to the point where you know you really couldn't hate either one of them with different stocks whatever you want on it and uh, so again it's a tough choice for me uh, it really is they both feel good even it, with my height and everything they both tuck in and, and feel good and, and shoot just fine so uh, so really uh, I left you in the same dilemma didn't I but uh, Pretty nice guns, both of them, and pistol cali car caliber carbines. Again, if you've never tried one, they are a blast to shoot. And they do have some tactical value, okay? Think about it. Uh, they really do. And they're just a, a lot of fun, if nothing else. And less expensive to shoot than, say, 5.56 probably and some of the, the bigger, you know, cart rifle cartridges. And good for people. Uh, Oh, like someone just getting into shooting, a youngster or whoever, think about it. These things, uh, they don't kick much and 9 millimeter, and they're not you know, incredibly loud like a 5.56. Five, so it's just a nice all-around uh, carbine. So I'm going to let you go. We appreciate you all supporting us and, and uh, the people who support us. We don't thank you enough. Uh, we just really uh, appreciate you coming by and watching. And uh, if you have anything to share, please do your experiences with either one of these because i am thinking about one of these myself this goes back to buds it may be already back by now for the e-gunner auction uh, of course i've got this one so and it's done well so i'm maybe i won't take the plunge on one of these but if, if i didn't have that for sure i would uh i would purchase one of these because I, I like them so anyway glad you could drop by life is good Doing a little spring training as I do here on the compound often. Uh, since I've got you here, I want to remind you to check out our friends over at SDI and Talon Grips. SDI is a fully accredited online distance learning program where you can become certified in gunsmithing or get an associate's degree in firearms technology. That's SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. Go to sdi.edu for more information. Talon Grips is a company that makes grips. Big surprise there, right? Uh, you can check them out at talongungrips.com. They make various types of grips for uh, various types of firearms that go over your existing grips. You go to the website talongungrips.com and, uh, and see what all they have over there. We appreciate them and their support, and uh, we hope that you support the companies that, that support us. Also, while you are on the internet, which I assume you are at this time, uh, go to hickok45.com and check out everything we have over there. We have links to all of our social media, our merchandise, which you can find also at bunkerbranding.com. We have t-shirts and hats and mugs and, and drink koozies and, and different things like that. On social media, there is Hickok V Real Hickok45 on Instagram, Hickok45 on Twitter, Hickok45 on Facebook. Uh, there's also a page I have called John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram and John Hickok on Facebook. So please check all that stuff out. When you get a chance, uh, but you know, watch some more videos. Have fun out there. Talk to you guys later.